Today's sponsor is SiteGround.com. They provide one-click installers, 24-7 support, excellent security, and free website transfers. Check out the link in the description below. Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial about building team cards with advanced custom fields in WordPress. My name is Cliff Kennedy, and this is WP Cliff Notes. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to the computer. I'm going to show you what the final product will look like. These will be team cards with different names and different images. So let's jump right into the back end of WordPress. We're going to go to custom fields. We're going to create a field group called team cards. And before we get started creating the custom fields, I am going to show you where you can get the code and CSS for this project. So there is a code pen from Little Snippets that you can get all the code and CSS that you need. You can change it around, whatever you want to do. Um, but I will link to this code pen in the description below. So let's get started creating the custom fields. Alrighty, so first we're going to name our fill group we're going to call it team cards and then we're going to name we're going to create a custom field the field itself we're going to name it team members All right, and we're going to make this a repeater. Now, you guys have to remember, the only way you will be able to create this is if you have the Advanced Custom Fields Pro version of Advanced Custom Fields. And I will link to that in the description below. So we are going to pick repeater. Then we come down here, and we are going to add fields to that repeater. And the first field that we are going to create is a photo so photo and we are going to make that an image field and next we are going to create a name a name field we're going to leave that text Next, we are going to create a description field where you can describe the team member. And we are going to make this a text box. That way the client can't screw this up. And we are going to make this, we'll say, three rows. This isn't something that you have to do. And then next, we are going to create the social media icons. And this is going to be a nested repeater. So this is going to get fun. So we're going to call it social links. We're going to change this to a repeater. And inside of here, we are going to have a a select field called social networks or social network I'm sorry social network because we're not gonna have one <clears throat> and then we're gonna have this a select field there are different ways that you can do this select field so we're only gonna give them the option of Facebook Twitter and LinkedIn because most business uh, team cards, that's usually all they have. So right here it tells you how to do it. And so we are going to go Facebook. And then this is what you use in the code is field. And this this is what they'll pick from. So this is what they'll see on the uh, in the admin. Make sure we have all these spelled correctly. There we go. 
And then the next one is gonna be a link field. We are gonna go add, or URL field, I'm sorry. The URL, there we go. Before we publish this page, we need to assign this to a page template. So we're gonna go down here to page template, and we're gonna go to team cards, and then we're gonna hit update. There we go, now we can move on to code. All right guys, so now that we have all the ACF fields created, and we assigned the field group to a page template, uh, we're gonna move on to code, and move on to our code editor. So, in our code editor, first off, we need to create a page template, which is very easy, which we've, I've actually already created. Um, and the only thing that you need on your PHP page, or PHP file, to show that it is a page template, is this little bit of code right here that says template name and then the name of your page template. And this is the header and this is the footer. And I use PHP Storm, which is the code editor, code editor that you're looking at. You can use any page or any code editor that you want to. Um, also, uh, this code right here is what I showed you earlier from the code pen and then this is the grid framework from Zurb Foundation Framework. And I will link to all of those below in the description. So let's get started. Uh, first off, we're just going to copy all this, put it down here, and we're going to put all of this inside of a repeater. So I am going to cut all this because I want the row or the column to be inside of the repeater and it spits out all this code the uh, repeater was called team members and then I'm gonna paste all this in here now to get the uh, ACF code that you want we're going to go to the Advanced Custom Fields website, and I will link to this in the description as well. Um, and we're going to go to Documentation, and we're going to go to Repeater, actually Field Types, and then we're going to go to Repeater, um, right here. So, And they have a video about it, um, which is nice. I think we actually used this in the last video. Um, you can copy and paste any of this code and then change it around. So I will link to this in the description. And so let's get back to our editor. And now that I have all this code inside of a repeater, um, we're going to change the image out for a uh, image field regular image and it spits out the WP get attachment image and you can find that in the WordPress documentation where I will li also link to that too everything that I use in this tutorial I will link in the description this needs to be photo and it needs to be a get sub image because this is a subfield of the repeater and this is going to be we're going to type this foot in echo get subfield and then i think we call this one name there we go and i'm just going to copy this one and i'm going to paste it right there and change it to the oh, description there we go says echo get subfield and so this is another um, I'm using a get template part and so I'm using um, in pretty much I'm importing another file 
and I'm using the WordPress PHP uh, get template part. Alright guys, so I switched over to the uh, the social.php file that I have and I've already built out the repeater and I'm just kind of going to talk you through it. So we, we have the repeater field, the repeater right here, if get field social networks and while has has subfield social networks so that's and then here I'm using uh, variables PHP variables so I have social URL and then I have get subfield URL so pretty much this stores this field inside of this variable and same thing here so I have social and uh, sub get subfield social network and it's storing the social network inside of this social variable and then we're gonna echo out the a tag for the social network and here's the URL so the URL is gonna be here Just pulling this field and sticking it right here with this uh, variable and then the class name is this uh, variable so it's putting the class name right here and then we're also this is where we're importing the image which is going to be an SVG and I've named all my SVGs for this the name of the social network and then dash official because when you do a get template part the you can use one comma and and then that's the substitute for a dash that's how this get template part works um, so it's this one will be for example um, it would be facebook dash official dot svg and it's a php file so it would be dot svg dot php but you don't have to put the dot php right here um, and i'll show you what that looks like um, so it's inside of assets and images actually we need to change this so this needs to be image it needs to be image because uh, this is an image folder right here and not spelled out so it's a shortcut but and then we close our a tag and then we close our um, if our while statement and then we close our if statement so that's that's pretty much and then we have a div around the whole thing called social and that's pretty much it and then we'll switch back over to the page template and that's all your code that's all you need guys um, oh we need to put up I'm sorry for this we need to put a width and a height on this so the width of this is gonna be we'll say 300 actually we're gonna make it 500 and then the height will be 600 actually 622 because that's the actual size of the image so and we'll see what that does all right so there we go now everything's good to go now let's go back to our um, back here we're gonna go to the page and team page we're gonna go to edit oh there's something I forgot to tell you guys uh, I'm glad it came up um, let's open this in a new fit in a new window right here we need to get rid of the content editor because we're not using it and that's the cool thing about these these right here is you can get rid of different things that you don't need so um, we could toggle them all off but I don't do that I usually content or take out the content editor all right after we change the or click the content editor we're gonna go up here to the layout and I never use block I always use uh, because block makes it look like this 
and I don't like that so so we are gonna go here and click you can either click block or you can click row I'll show you what both look like that way you can pick which one this is what block looks like we'll refresh so when you lay it out it's all like this um, and this is another repeater so you will also have to go in here if there's not many fields I'll leave it like that but you can also go in here and go to this repeater and do the same thing so we'll click block um, and so that's what block looks like if you want to change it to uh, row row does not look much different and I uh, <clears throat> So this is what a row looks like. So it's not much different. But, all right, so let's add all these images. We're gonna use her. And we're gonna call her June Carter. And I'm going to use dummy text for their descriptions because you don't really need it. And then, so we'll, we'll add all the Facebook and all that stuff. So Facebook, we'll just say HTTP, Facebook.com. All right, so after we add the last link then we're going to go up here and hit update. We'll come over here, refresh, and bam! There we go. There's our Facebook, our Instagram, or our Twitter, I'm sorry, and LinkedIn, and our title, our description, and our image. So it's all working. And so now we're going to go over here and add the other two because this is going to have three across. And we're going to use this guy. And we're gonna call him Joe Schmo. And we're gonna add some dummy text. And then we're gonna add our social networks. So Facebook, we're just gonna go up here and copy these. And actually, to be honest with you, you don't we don't even need to add the social networks, but you can. I mean you'll uh, obviously have to but I'm just showing you that what all this is gonna look like so we'll go here and we'll add a Twitter we'll go here and add a, a LinkedIn and we'll go here we'll add this guy actually I like this guy better and so we're gonna call him uh, Brian Brown how about that I like that we're gonna add some dummy text Going to add our social networks. And update it. Alright, so now we switched over and yeah, they all show. So, there you go. That's how Advanced Custom Fields works with nested repeaters. That's how easy it is to build team cards in advanced custom fields. I hope today's tutorial has made WordPress simple, fun, and easy for you. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Question of the day. Again, how do you use WordPress? And how do you use Advanced Custom Fields Pro? Until next time, this is Clifton Kennedy. Signing off. Later.